91 Land Rover Defender. Um, it was kind of customized and painted to look like the autobiography edition. Um, so it's that two tone gray and uh, or silver and black. Has a sawtooth 16 by 7 rims. Um, it's had quite a bit of things replaced on it and as far as the engine goes I'll go through those in a bit I'm going to show you the underside so this is a it's a new axle for this um, it was used so we replaced the front axle um, it had some rust repair that needed to be done on it if you can see but overall now I think the parts that were I'll show you that rust repair that was done the chassis when I get over there um, I've had this in my driveway for the last two weeks and there's a drop of any fluid at all, no oil, nothing at all. Doesn't leak one bit. The rust repair was done right here. No, you're not going to be able to see it very well, but right there, um, it was a, a new piece was re-welded on to the chassis. So basically, from here all the way till it meets up there, um, the rest of the frame was in great shape. Um, the rest of it just minor surface rust. I'll show you the interior. So a couple things that um, that need to be called out. Um, this does have a. It sits right here. There's a little prong that you to start the engine. It's an engine shut off or a. So to start it, you have to push this prong in with a little key fob thing, and that allows you to start the engine on it. The seats are in good shape. open up this door. So this is the other side. The CD player, I have not, I haven't actually been able to get it to work. It does, it works. It turns on everything, but I haven't had, been able to get have any sound come out of it. Of the speakers, there are two speakers. One here, as well as one right here. This is a look at the back from the front. So this is the on this the uh, you can see the spare tire is kind of big, kind of gets in the way. You're still able to flip it up. Back's in really good shape. There's 
the roof. It has some small areas of rust. Um, uh, nothing major though. Pop the engine and start it. Do one more walk around. Shout out to the tires. They are missing the center cap on these. I just didn't didn't buy them. This is the snorkel. Um, the LED light does work. Turn that on. Make sure I need. Need to have the engine on to do that. Okay, so this is a good example of. So this has a fob right here. So this fob, before you're starting it, it's I guess nice for having. If you want to guard against someone stealing it, the red light turns off and you're able to start it. LED light does work. as well as the headlights, turn those on. Blinkers, reverse lights all work. I'll pop the hood. I wanted to get a quick video of the lights. These are the it's a new LED light kits. License plate holder works as well. Alright, wanted to give you an idea of how it drives. You can hear the engine.
old dude again through all the gears. Try and get him to fit. Actually, when you turn on the headlights, those actually turn on as well. I'm not sure why um, I didn't have, have the mechanic look at that. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, the parking brake works fine, um, so I wasn't, wasn't going to do anything about that. So, other than that, it works, works great. One last look around.